الرحمن الرحيم All right, to build my DIY crosscut jig for circular saw, I found a scrap piece of plywood laying around. It wasn't in good shape, but should do the job for me. I cut about 1.2 meters, that's uh, 1200 millimeter, I believe, uh, because that's the widest plywood sheets that we can buy in this town. After that, <laughs> I cut two pieces of uh, thin strips, not very thin though, uh, I mean it's strong enough to hold my big circular saw there, that's a 7 inch circular saw by the way. So adding those uh, strips as fence was easy, but I needed to make sure that the saw moves smooth and there is no play. Uh, between the saw and those two strips. After that, I add the strips using holes and driving screws in the holes, which was an easy task. After adding that, I had to check if my circular saw actually moves right. I also used a piece of uh, paper, uh, kind of some, uh, I mean, not very thick, but thick enough. Uh, cardboard uh, basically it was just a user manual piece and uh, put it between the saw and one piece of wood the fence and added it this way I, I made sure the saw will not have a play but also move right then I cut two small pieces and added them at both sides these pieces are going to serve as guides for me to add the jig exactly 90 degree uh, to the plywood sheets that I want to cut after that it was just sanding and adding the saw to it This one and that one is 90 degrees just slightly like 0 0.05 is off But that doesn't matter and after adding some uh, My favorite wax this actually is nice and smooth, man. No, this space is really cramped. I cannot do much about it. Um, this is about it. I cannot see the line. I still have to draw holes in this big ones. Circular holes, so I can see the things. But now I can release the saw, baby. Release the saw! So with the arm... And now let's reveal the cut. Ninety degree, baby! Ninety degree!